G'day guys, today we're looking at Tekken Offsets in the Mirage F1EE. We're going to start by finding a Tekken station and plugging the frequency into our Tekken control box. There's a Tekken station here at Mount Pleasant. The code is 59X-Ray. We'll come back out and we will put that into our control box. 59. And over on the IDN, on the front panel, we're going to click, it, click the outer ring down to the mode that shows us where the Tekken station is. Okay, so it's 49 miles ahead of us. We're in active pause at the moment too, so we're not moving. Okay, let's find some places that we can fly to. Goose Green's a good one. Okay, so we need to find the range and bearing from the Tekken Station to Goose Green. Let's pick a specific spot of Goose Green. Let's try this corner up here. Okay, so it's 19 miles and 266 degrees magnetic. Alright, so we'll come up here. We will turn the outer knob to the uppermost Greek letter. I think it's, yep, 19 miles. Click the outer ring, and this one's the, the bearing. And it was 266. So we'll just hold down this knob until we get to 266. It can be a bit fiddly sometimes. I, mm, come on, you can do it. Uh, that might mm, that might just have to do it I think yeah okay that'll do it okay click the outer knob until it's the arrow is facing down to R nav VA and I'm gonna turn the cap reel until the cap marker is right on the large arrow everything looks okay Alright, we're out of active pause and we're turning towards the marker, 29 miles away from us. I might speed things up and we'll see how we go. Okay, we're just going to see how close to the mark we're going to get. Now we come out of active, out of time acceleration now. Just touch up the heading a little bit. Seven miles. We're getting there. Five miles. Let's see how we are on the map. Okay, so remember that we chose that northernmost corner of the tarmac. And we're not going to be quite that precise. Now keep in mind that this Tacan station is only 20 miles away. And already there's a decent enough uh, gap in precision. Okay, so that's what, a bit under half an audio while. Alright, let's try something else. Let's find somewhere a bit further away and see whether or not it is even less accurate at longer distances. So that was what, 20 miles. Let's find one a bit further out. Oh, this little island up here. Yep, the far end of that. Let's plonk down. That will punch in our numbers into the IDN. Back up to this one, which is range. It'd be nice if there was a bit more precision in these controls, but I don't think it's that big a deal because I don't think the Tekken offsets are a particularly precise form of navigation. Where are we? Can we get 
get this one right or... Yeah, no, it's not going to be perfect. We'll just have to roll with that. Okay. Alright, let's come out of active pause. And we'll start flying around. I'm going to fast forward a little bit and we'll come back closer to the destination. We're about five miles now. Just touching up the arrow a little bit with the autopilot, trying to get it as precise as I can. But you can see that I'm miles off course. And that's one of the limitations with TACAN. The beam width isn't particularly precise the further out you go. I'm also running into problems here where my TACAN is frequently turning itself off because I'm a bit low. So at low altitudes and longer distances, you quite often lose TACAN coverage. Anyway, I hope you find this helpful. It's a little bit different from the F1C, but I think it's not too hard once you get your head around it. I probably wouldn't be using this for navigation fixes though. But that might be just me. Anyway, if you enjoyed this one, please like and subscribe, and I'll try and get some more content out soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.